this is really war. Its goal is to conquer the South, to defeat American power, and to extend the Asiatic dominion of communism. It was the first war the United States lost. Some say it was lost not on the battlefield, but in the living rooms of middle America. For Vietnam was the television war. More than 80 cameramen and journalists were killed reporting that war. Neil Davis, an Australian, survived for 11 long years. Davis was 30 when he arrived in Vietnam. He had no combat experience. But before long, his Vietnam footage, filmed for a British-based syndicate, was watched by millions all around the world. Davis left Cambodia just before Phnom Penh fell and went back to Vietnam to film the final act. It was chaos. The communists had begun their victory drive south towards the capital, Saigon. Soldiers and civilians fled before them, scrambling to get aboard the last remaining aircraft heading for the dubious safety of the capital. But there were too many people and too few planes. Then Saigon itself was cut off. Thousands gathered at the American embassy trying to get out with the last of their departing allies, driven by rumors of what the North Vietnamese would do when they finally won. Huge bribes were offered to get aboard the departing helicopters. On the aircraft carriers offshore, helicopters worth millions of dollars were ditched to make room for more people. The risk of being caught up in a bloodbath drove most of the Western camera crews out as well. And then the last helicopter left. But Neil Davis stayed. I didn't believe that there was a great danger as long as it survived the first few minutes of the communist occupation, where it's always very dicey, where there might be uh, flare-ups and fighting immediately. Uh, I did survive the first few minutes, and, and it wasn't any danger. Most people had left the streets. The civilian population had gone inside their houses and waited. I had decided the presidential palace was the place to be. And I went there alone and waited for them. And I thought I wasn't going to miss this end to the story. I had a moment's uh, hesitation as the tank was approaching and the tank column was approaching because they fired a few times uh, to let people know they were about, I think, and crashed through that gate. raced towards me, screaming in Vietnamese, stop, stop, stop. Well, I kept filming and we got quite close and uh, I rehearsed my bit before, which was in Vietnamese, welcome to Saigon, comrade. Uh, <laughs> I've been you know, waiting to film the liberation and uh, I had no qualms about that, I had it all right. And he said, you're American. I said, no, I'm, I'm not, I promise I'm, a, I'm an Australian and I've been waiting for you. So he hesitated and then some troops were coming out and surrendering from the palace. And he hesitated, then dismissed me and ran past and I was able to then start filming again. Everybody was very, very excited. Of course, the North Vietnamese soldiers who were very young were very excited. And uh, they raced up and waved their 
giant Viet Cong flags from the first floor. What they had omitted to do in the hurry, of course, was to tear down the South Vietnamese flag, which was flying immediately above them. That was a good shot.